It's Christmas time again, and that means I am scouring the stores for cool nerdy Christmas stuff. What did I find this year? Donkey Kong for my Christmas tree. We're gonna take a look at that right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no puns. Not allowed if you're a grown up. Welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John. I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thanks for checking out this video and the channel. Yeah, so Donkey Kong Christmas tree ornament from Hallmark. I uh, hadn't seen this one before, it's brand new 2018, and once I picked it up, I did a little research, and I found out it's not the first one they did. They did a Pac-Man ornament in 2008, and a Galaga in 2009, which pretty much means I'm going to have to go find those now that I have this one to flesh out my collection. But is this one worth your money? Let's take a look. First glance, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks very much like the uh, retro cabinet. Uh, on the back it says uh, who designed it. It also even says if you uh, press the controller buttons that you will get uh, light and sound. It comes with some batteries. <laughs> wow! That is really quite nice. Uh, you can see inside that it, uh, you can already see there's a Donkey Kong play field going on inside of there. Uh, side art is great. And the shape of the cabinet is accurate. Coin door, instructions, I mean, everything looks, I mean, this is pretty much just looks to be photo accurate to a real cabinet. Takes three of these little button batteries lined up end to end here, so they are all lined up. I do appreciate that these modern ornaments use batteries rather than having to be plugged into a string of lights so you can continue to use them even when you're uh, not Christmas time. So, all right, let's see how she sounds. <laughs> so it goes all the way through a uh, hammer and everything until Mario dies. I'm not too disappointed. For 20 bucks, I mean, uh, is a little steep for what it is. Yeah, maybe, but Christmas ornaments generally, especially Hallmark collectibles, uh, they run about that, and that's not bad. If you waited until after Christmas, you might even start finding these on clearance. But even at the price point of about 20 bucks, it's not too bad for what it is. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna hang it on my tree. It's gonna have a place of prominence right there. How often will I make noises with it? I don't know until people tell me to shut it up. But I'll know it's there and I can have Donkey Kong sounds on the tree whenever I want to. Frankly, the fact that it uses batteries means I might be able to keep it year round on the shelf. So for the Donkey Kong arcade cabinet Hallmark ornament, I'm gonna give it four tokens out of five. It's not a must have, maybe it's more of a must have if you're a Donkey Kong fan like I am or a retro vintage arcade machine fan. You might think that sounds a little elevated for what it is, but I'm a pretty diehard Donkey Kong fan, so maybe that's a bit high. It's certainly not a must have, but it sure is cool. The fact that again, that you can keep it year round and use it without having to plug it into lights, that's a plus too. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know down in the comments if it's something you're interested in, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Gen X Grown Up is dedicated to bringing you new Generation X inspired videos every week. Here are a couple more you can watch right now, but for even more, subscribe and enable those notifications. And if you love what we do, we invite you to support us over on Patreon. And of course, your feedback in the comments and a quick thumbs up are always appreciated.